Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you haven't been here before, my name is Morgan. I focus mainly on homeschooling, uh, homesteading, things like that. But I recently purchased a horse. So I've been riding my whole life. I have always had horses, but I've never actually purchased my own horse. I've always had like, I have my pony that I've had since I was like three, four years old. Um, but I've never purchased my own horse and shopped for my own horse. So um, finally, as an adult, thank you to my wonderful husband. Um, it kind of lined up where I purchased my own horse. So I will be introducing him at a later date. But I have a pretty big chicks saddlery, like discount saddlery haul. Um, hopefully my kids don't bother you too much, but I have a tag haul and supply haul and I just figured I'd share. Um, this isn't like an equestrian account or anything. I'm not like gonna transfer over and only post horse stuff, but I asked my Instagram if you guys would like to see it and you said yes. So I'm gonna share it. So I spent just over $500, like five, 520, I think, 530. Um, so I'm just gonna share everything. I bought a three-year-old off-track thoroughbred. Um, I'm very excited to get him the same speaker. Um, but I will share more about him later. This is just stuff I ordered for him. So because he is three and he's just not done growing yet, I'm gonna get a custom saddle fit when he's like five, six. But for now, I'm just gonna use what I have. So I invested in a pretty nice wool pad. I don't wanna like open it. Well, I guess I can open it, why not? I invested in a pad because he has kind of high withers. He's a young Hi, thoroughbred. Um, so he has high withers. So I invested in... Yeah. I invested in a high wither saddle pad. So, um... It's for my horse. So I particularly like wool saddle pads. This seriously wasn't that expensive. It was like a hundred bucks. Um, it's not the nicest one ever, but I figured I'd try it. Um, so I just figured I'd try this out. I have really good reviews. Um, so I figured I'd try it. So got that. I also got, they were having like a blanket blowout sale. So I purchased him a like winter blanket. Hopefully you can see that. So I got him a blanket. I had my friend go measure him because she works at the barn where I bought him from. Um, but I got him a turnout blanket for winter. It's like brown and turquoise. Not the color I would have picked, but it was like 50 bucks. They had it on sale and that's the only one they had left. So whatever. And then I also got these Professional Choice Sports Medicine Boot Elite. Um, huge sports medicine boot fan. Um, only brand I would actually buy for boots but that's just me. They're really cute. I got the four tack and they're like this cute print and I'm like not super into prints um, on tack and things like that. But I thought these were really cute. Yeah, these are for Beaker. So I thought these were really cute and they're on sale. So I like that. I got them in a medium. I might need to exchange them for a large. I didn't even think of that. But I might exchange them for a large. I'm not sure yet. So, um, or I might actually... Yeah, I don't know. I might I might exchange it for a large. But either way, got these. The next thing I got is, um, like I said, I still have my pony. So these were on sale as well. I got two fly masks, the like Lycra, the Professional's Choice Lycra, um, like slinky material ones. I got my pony Casey, the pink one, and then I got Beaker, um, just the gray one. I wanted blue, but they didn't have it. So whatever, that's okay. Um, and they were fifth. Yeah, that's fine. And they were fifteen dollars a piece. Sure. The next thing I got is a halter, and I totally forget to forgot to get a breakaway strap to add to the top of this um, because I do breakaway straps on all horses, especially three-year-old thoroughbreds. <laughs> So I just got, what in the world? We're all inside out tangled up here. Yeah. I got the average size because it's kind of average size. All right, ignore the fact that this is all tangled up, but just got blue. I think it's called Slate. It's just a weaver. And I, I like I said, I'll get the breakaway additions because um, I don't like like pure nylon halters. I like a breakaway because safety. The next thing I got is this really simple head stall from Buffalo Leather. Um, I didn't want anything super expensive. This needs to be oiled and like broken in, obviously. But I just wanted something cheap, 
something simple. It's pretty, got a pretty little like leaf detail. Um, just needed something simple. So I got that. I also got, let's see. I also got this professional choice, professional choice, double break O-ring snaffle. Um, technically I think is an English bit, but this is what he's being ridden in right now and it seems to be working out very well. So this is a bit, this goes in uh, Beaker's mouth. Oh wow. <laughs> it's weird, right? But I got him this little thing. I um, I'm make it a roller ball. We'll see how he, how he does with this one. But this is what he's in right now. So I picked up one of these, not expensive. If it doesn't work out, I'll get something different. So. I also got a straight up plain black lead rope. This should have been Weaver. I think it was Weaver. I don't know. It's just a plain black lead rope. It doesn't matter. <laughs> then I got these reins. These are not the reins I wanted, but the reins I wanted were discontinued. So she said like, hey, she emailed me and she was like, hey, do you mind if I just um, kind of find something similar, similar price, similar style and add it for you? And I was like, sure, why not? Um, so these are the Bamboo Lux round trail reins or 10 feet um, reins that don't have a break in them. So just comfy reins. They might be too short. I don't know. But she added them, I figured I'd try them. They were inexpensive with the little, uh, what's this clip called? My dad always called it a monkey clip. Is that what they're not called? It's called a monkey clip. Oh, they're by Weaver. I didn't know that. Oh, whatever, eco-friendly, moisture-wicking, antibacterial. Antibacterial? Oh, okay. Watch what you're doing, bub. It's okay. And then the last thing I got, that's not true. I also got my daughter um, little pink pony rain boots. So she took them over there. <laughs> so the last thing I purchased for myself is I got myself a helmet. Um, I never really rode with helmets growing up, like in, like when I was a little kid, but like into my teenage years, I just kind of like stopped wearing one because it was like uncool. But I personally don't want to be paralyzed by the time I turn 30. So I purchased myself just a cheap helmet. I got, what is it? The Ovation Deluxe Schooling Helmet. Um, I'm going to look like a dweeb, but hopefully I won't, you know, have a spinal cord injury. So um, this is for mommy when she, so I can ride my horse. So got a helmet. Um, safety first, right? Safety for, oh, it comes with a helmet bag? Dang, it was not that expensive. Um, so that is everything I got so far. Like I said, I might exchange the boots. I didn't even think to get him a large, honestly, I'm used to riding like quarter horses. So I just always go medium, but he's a thoroughbred and I think he's gonna be too big for the medium, but whatever, um, I'll try him on and see what happens. Um, I hope you enjoyed this video. If this is anything you're into, I really liked chick saddlery i've never ordered for them before or if i have it's been Whoa. years and years so this is everything i got um their shipping was super fast but that's not really saying much because they're in delaware and i'm in new jersey so maybe it was just fast because you know, we're next door but um i hope you enjoyed this video subscribe to my channel and i will be posting more updates on beaker and our off-track transformation so thanks for watching bye